the empowerment of the church is by the ministry of the Godhead. Can you please write this down? Please put it down, please. The empowerment of the church is by the ministry of the Godhead. Without the cooperation of the Godhead, without the work, the ministry of the Godhead, there would have been no power in the church. The secret behind the power that is in operation in this church, in the body of Christ, I mean, is the ministry of the Godhead. Without the Godhead, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, without the Godhead, that means God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, there would have been no power in the church. The Holy Spirit empowers God's people to do God's work. God also strengthens His people by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And God works through His people by the ministry of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So that means God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit each strengthen and empower God's people. You can only receive the strength you need per time by the knowledge of the Godhead. I mean, you can only receive the strength you need per time by the knowledge of the Godhead. Your level of knowledge Consigning the Godhead will determine the power you will demonstrate in this kingdom. Because power in this kingdom is in levels. Power in this kingdom is in levels. I mean the demonstration of power in the body of Christ is in levels. In the book of Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. He said, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. La poskite barush kalabalakiakiti. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So God the Father said, I will, will strengthen us. He said, He will help us. He said, He will uphold us with the right hand of His righteousness. And the right hand of His righteousness is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ has ascended on high and is seated right hand at the right hand of God. The right hand of God is the side of power. The right hand of God is the position of authority. So we have a God man, a God man. I mean a divine nature mixed with human nature, seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus was a carrier of the divine nature and the human nature mixed together. Why he was on earth? He was God made manifest in the flesh. And right now in heaven, at the right hand of the Father, he was still God made manifest in the flesh, seated at the right hand of the Father in the realm of the Spirit. God the Father said, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That was a prophecy concerning Jesus Christ. The right hand of God's righteousness is Jesus Christ. If you have access to Jesus Christ, you have access to the right hand of God's righteousness. That is the position of authority. The right hand of God's righteousness is the secret behind creation and recreation. 
the right hand of God's righteousness is the mystery behind creation and recreation. The power of creation and recreation is at the right hand of God. And that power is in Christ Jesus. Christ is the totality of kingdom authority. Christ is the totality of kingdom authority. If you have Christ, you have the authority of God. In you, have mercy Lord take over Lord Lord Jesus take over can you please open to 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 and it reads for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind you see god has not given us the spirit of fear but he has given unto us the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind god himself has given unto us he has strengthened us by the spirit of power he has empowered us by the spirit of love and he has glorified the church by the spirit of a sound mind, the spirit of confidence, you have the spirit of confidence in you. By the ministry of God the Father, you have the spirit of self-control. You have the spirit of boldness in you. By the ministry of God it. But without Christ Jesus, you cannot have access to this kingdom power. Christ Jesus gives us access to kingdom power. Christ Jesus is the door, is the entrance into the realm of power and authority. So that is why Paul said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So Jesus Christ can strengthen us. You can only receive that strength, that power, that authority, that kingdom might by the ministry of Christ Jesus. Not the earthly ministry of Jesus, but I'm talking about the spiritual ministry of Jesus. The spiritual ministry of Jesus encompasses the death, the resurrection, the ascension of Jesus, and the intercessory ministry of Jesus at the right hand of the Father. The spiritual ministry of Jesus the spiritual ministry of Jesus is the secret behind the kingdom power. Although Jesus came here on earth, he was God made manifest in the flesh on earth, and he was able to demonstrate the power of God on earth. But the church have access to this power by the spiritual ministry of Jesus. The spiritual ministry of Jesus gave us the access to the power of Jesus. The spiritual ministry of Jesus Christ gave us access to the power of Jesus Christ. What do I mean by this? Please, can, can we open to 1 Timothy? 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12. 1 Epistle to Timothy chapter 1 verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who has enabled me, you see, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. That was Paul charging Timothy here. 
That was Paul charging and challenging Timothy. That was Paul building up Timothy by virtue of his epistle to Timothy. The first Timothy is a pastoral epistle to Timothy. And there are words of encouragement. There are words of encouragement. In this first Timothy, I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who has enabled me. So Christ Jesus, we enable you. Your enablement is by the ministry of Christ Jesus. Your divine enablement to do the work of the ministry is by the ministry of Christ Jesus. Without Christ Jesus, there is no power. You have access to the power. But the Holy Spirit is the carrier of this power. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of this power. What do I mean by this? Can you please open to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. He says that he will grant you. That was Christ Jesus. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. <laughs> ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. According to the riches of Christ's glory, to be strengthened with might by the spirit of Christ in the inner man. There is no how you can receive the might of Christ without the Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ will give you access to the power of Christ. The power of Christ can do all things. The omnipotent nature of Christ is carried by the Spirit of Christ. The omniscient nature of Christ is carried by the Spirit of Christ. The omnipresent nature of God is carried by the Spirit of Christ. And the Spirit will give you access to the riches of His glory. Not just one glory, but many glories. The riches of His glory. You can only receive the riches of Christ's glory by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You can only receive the riches of God's glory by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In your inner man, the glory of God will erupt from your inner man, not from your outer man. Although it will manifest in your outer man, but the eruption takes place in your inner man. The process will take place in your inner man. But the manifestation is through your outer man into your world. If you can understand the mystery of God, you will go far in this world. If you can understand the mystery of the God, you will go far in the work of the ministry. If you can understand the mystery and the ministry of the God, you will do wonders in this world. Just get this mystery and understand the mysteries. Special signs and wonders shall be the order of the day in your life if you can just understand the mystery of the Godhead. The twelve disciples of Jesus were able to do wonders because of their perfect understanding of the ministry of God. <laughs> ah, yes, Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> Glory be to God. Parus kete baruch kalabala. Help me, Lord, to carry this light. Help me, Lord, to carry this light. 
Help me, Lord, to carry this light. I want to carry this light, Lord. Please, can you open to Acts of Apostles? Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. Acts of Apostles. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in what? All Judea, and in what? In us, in Samaria. And unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Thank you. Yes, Lord. You shall receive the power of the Holy Ghost. That means the power of the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and shall be in you. You shall receive the power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. And in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Holy Ghost is the carrier of the power. If you have the Holy Ghost, you have the power of the Godhead. God the Father, God the Son cannot walk without the ministry of the Holy Spirit right now. God cannot do for you what the Holy Spirit can do for you. God will not do it. Without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Get that mystery, please. God cannot do it without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus cannot do one that in your life without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So that means God the Father and Jesus Christ can only walk in you, walk through you, and walk by you. By engaging the ministry of the Holy Spirit that is in you right now. So the Spirit is in you to fulfill the will of the Father in you and to fulfill the will of the Father through you. The church is the instrument of God on earth. The church is the instrument of God on earth. But the power of God in the church is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit in that instrument, the instrument cannot function. The power in the instrument of God is the Holy Spirit. The church is the divine instrument of God. The end time church is the divine instrument of God. And you must manifest that power. That means as from this moment onward, you shall manifest the power of God. I say you shall manifest the glory of God. The virtues and the value of God shall be demonstrated in your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 